spreading, spreading some more, so much more, yeah. negativity. But what say we spread some more positivity and we get into this? Yeah, I mean, I'm ready when you guys are. All right, go on, Tyrone. You go for it, buddy. So. <laughs> Uh, that was very riveting, um, very, very long. Um, there's a lot of button smashing going on in one corner, and there's a lot of uh, humming going on in the other. But welcome back to the latest edition of the Geekball Society, folks. I'm the host, and joining me down at the bottom left with the sexy glasses. That's you, Ty. Oh, sorry, it's the right on my thing. My bad. Sorry, you said left, and I thought you were talking about Stu. I never said sexy glasses. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. It was the glasses, and I thought, yeah, Stu has glasses, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, uh, also, hello, Earthlings. Greetings, I should say. Hello. And joining us both is the Flying Ninja. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all well and looking forward to getting into this one. Nani? There was a lot of speculation uh, whether this Joaquin, uh, how do you say his first name? Well, Joaquin, Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix's Joker was going to be any good and everyone was so quick to jump the gun and think eh, that's kind of shit or based on i mean the amount of like hate that was spreading when you know when them pictures and then videos were leaked with him walking the station or whatever people were hating this left right and center saying oh it looks shit it looks terrible the mask looks crap the design looks crap after that trailer however i like the look of this product yeah, I really I, like I mean, the look of this product. I mean, I see that they've got like a lot of elements of all the different Jokers in one. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I mean, when I when I first saw um, leaked um, videos and what he was going to look like, I was personally on board from the get go. I thought it looked very creepy, um, and I was very impressed. I think by the first trailer. I'm not gonna lie. When I saw the trailer for the first time um i was like yeah it looks it looks decent um but i've watched it a couple more times and i've got more and more interested um i was already um down for joaquin phoenix as the joker from the get-go as well because joaquin phoenix mm. is such a talented actor i think he's gonna he do is. a fantastic job playing the role but i think this what makes this comic book movie film um so interesting i think unique as well in a way to a lot of other comic book movies is that it's focusing on the villain yeah there's and no batman that's what's gonna, yeah and i think well as we know of <laughs> but um <laughs> and i don't think we'll be in it but anyway um but nah. i'm very interested to see what they're gonna do and you know it looks like it's gonna be a very creepy and very dark and a very dark mm -hmm. and creepy DC comic book movie film, and you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do. Yeah, I mean, one thing I'm looking forward to with this movie, I'm excited to see what they do with it, but I'm excited to see what this means for the future. Will they tie it into the DCEU, or will they leave it as a standalone movie sort of thing, where it's just like its own thing, and that's it? Well, um, there was talks, I think they said that it wasn't going to be related to the DCEU, um, please cor correct me if I'm wrong, people in the comments mm. below. Um, I think but, you might be right. You could be yeah. right. Um, but I won't be surprised if it sells well and it gets good reviews by not just critics, but fans as well. Um, I think, you know, they might incorporate Joaquin Phoenix's Joker into the DCEU uh, in some way. Let's be honest, like the DC DC doesn't have like one universe. They've got so many universes about the gaff. Like they've got the Arrowverse, they've got the whole uh, there's too much. I'm one of, I'm, I, 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 I may feel like universe. I'm in the minority here, but there's too much. Like I'd rather have too much in a concise MCU kind of story than too much and all over the place. Like yeah, it's like how times what's going on, it's just like 
okay, that's happening over there. Like, okay, you, you, you're happening over there. And, oh, Joker, yeah, you're happening over there. And, like, uh, yeah, people oh, you're... are going to think this is the next DC. Like, so most of the casuals, they're going to think this is the next DCEU installment. But that, that they will. Like, unless they go searching for it, unless they're told, they, they're probably going to think it's part of the the same franchise. But I would like if it was in the DCEU, because I think this joke is better than Jared Leto's. But two, I still like Jared Leto's Joker. And three, it ties into that idea of there being multiple Jokers. I think in yes, in I, I, sense... I would love for that. I would love for that to be a thing. So that way, you don't disrespect Jared Leto, mm-hmm. but you bring the best one over. That makes sense. I think with Jared Leto, more or less in his sense, he didn't obviously that this was like a bad kind of opening for him. I feel like in this kind of thing, Joaquin Phoenix, if say for example, if you switch them out, if if Jared Leto was in had it like that kind of starting kind of maybe his character would have shined more because remember, especially with the direction like Suicide Squad was going, Suicide Squad was going from such like a, a playful, like, oh, this is like so fun. These guys are characters that like, they're so alive. They're literally Harley Quinn, like half like freaking pink, blue hair. It's just like, oh, okay. So it's just, yeah, in a sense, like, and it didn't kind of show the character like it showed the kind of hateful kind of joke, joke, jokey side of the Joker, and I'm not like I'm saying, Jared. Though I didn't think he did did the the worst job in the world. I, don't, I didn't. Also, I didn't think he did the best job in the world. But yeah, I feel I don't know. Maybe would would we have seen a more v- accurate Joker if Jared Leto kind of stepped into this kind of movie setting? Is that just me, or maybe um... I don't know. It could just be speculations or like maybe, but then again, I'm not saying putting down Walking Phoenix because like he is a good, a tremendous, tremendous yeah, actor. He, so. He's a very good addition to their uh, roster of films. He, he'll he'll do wonders for this film. But mm-hmm. I've always said that there are some films that will sell very well alone, depending on who's playing the characters. I think what's going on though is regarding the DCEU is that, you know, I think that they're sort of putting the whole crossover, the whole Justice League stuff on hold for now and doing what they should have done from the get-go, which is doing solo movies. Um, so obviously we had one for Aquaman. Which um, they tend we, to be stronger. Yeah. If, we had if we're being honest. For, they, they are better at it with that. I'm yeah, we, we had one for Shazam recently. Um, I just saw that uh, today at the recording of this video and uh, I personally enjoyed it. Um, a question, question for you, Stuart, not to yeah. cut you off, but like just to ask you, mate, with Shazam, please tell me, though obviously not spoiling anything, it's not just like pure ha ha funny because I no, no there's, there's a story to not. it. Okay, cool, absolutely um, not. It, it has a lot of funny moments, but it knows when to be serious. Oh, yes, okay, okay, so, now I'm excited. Now I'm excited. So, so you know, most That's of the time, it knows better. when to be most of the time, it knows when to be serious. Um, and there's, but there's, you know, I think there is a, a good balance between comedy and seriousness. Um, the villain's pretty good as well, in my opinion. So, but anyway, Ma- you know, um, played by played by Mark Strong. I'm like, yeah, yeah um, damn, quite, quite. But yeah, like Mark know, Strong. Think, but yeah, um, I think that the DCEU is just sort of in a bit of a limbo at the moment. Warner Brothers aren't really. It doesn't sure know what it doesn't it. know what it wants to be. They, they, they have a Pennyworth series. I'm just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw that. And, you know, at first I was thinking, all right, but why? Like, like it's like the equivalent of Solo. It, it's good to the point where you don't want to give it back, but no one specifically asked for it ahead of anything else. Like, what? Mm. Well, like, I, I, we've got a series on Alfred Pennyworth, which is fine, but... I've always said there are some characters that should be left untouched and they should be left as they are because it alludes to the mystery of who these characters could have been beforehand. Yeah, but the thing is, my... there's, so, there's so many, um, um, you know, no, nothing against Alfred Pennyworth, but for me personally, that, that I find so many more other DC characters more interesting than Alfred Pennyworth. And yeah. I don't think there's really, I don't think there was really much to, to learn from him. He was just this cool butler... That works for Batman. I mean, I don't, I don't see anything else we could really, you could really learn from him. 
you know. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's, it's no, like they're, gonna, kind they're, of... they're gonna make it some like LA noir kind of like crime thriller thing. Yeah, I mean, I saw the I saw the trailer for it, and it just you know, just for for me personally, you know, I was just like, well, meh. But you know, each to their own. I mean, you know, you know, I, I'd rather this, see full on, you know, like Justice League stuff again, not like the movie, but like you know, the cartoons and shit. You know, I'd mm. happily rather take that. Yeah, but you know, if, if there if there is anyone watching this video that is actually interested in the Alfred Pennyworth TV show, then you know, each to your own, man. You know, hope you enjoy it. Oh, yeah, hopefully um, enjoy it, but it's something that I'm not going to go out of my way to watch. Yeah, me neither. Um, I, I go, guess go back to, for me, the only like Alfred that, I need is in is in the is in the Dark Knight. That's the only Alfred I need. Um, but yeah, I go along with that. Along with also, uh, you know, back back to Joker. Um, at that point, I was thinking about the origin stories. Sometimes I don't like origin stories because it it takes away the mystery of the character. Like, the Joker's been shown so many times, and he hasn't got a set origin story. Everyone's just interpreted it as their own thing. So, best believe when this movie comes out, if there's something that people don't have qualms on, or they don't like, you know, it's going to be, I resigned from the internet, send. You know, it's going to be a whole <laughs> load of fans waiting outside with pitchforks and torches waiting to burn down well, the studio. To be honest, judging from the trailer alone, I think, and again, I'm only judging from the trailer, I think they've done a good way of portraying his origin story because judging from the trailer alone, what it looks like is he has a pretty rough childhood with his mother. His mother's mm. a bit of a cook. And... He gets influenced by her because obviously she's the one who raises him. And he has a very distorted, um, strange view of society and people. And it looks like from the trailer, you're going to see his progression slowly of becoming, you know, just this, this weird, skinny creep to this, this psychopath and crazy clown because what's interesting is that throughout the trailer you see you know he's clearly in, he's clearly a bit crazy and creepy yeah, he, and weird he's unhinged he's unhinged but he's getting his ass kicked all the time and it's going to be interesting to see because he's not all powerful and you know all that he relies from only from what I've seen of the Joker, he relies on his intelligence and, and how his good he is at reading people's minds. So it's going to be interesting to see how someone who's not really physically strong, but mentally, no. when it comes to, you know, screwing with people's heads. And because, you know, you see like, in there's this trailer, you see like, Loads of people with clown masks, I think, or something, with police trying to hold them off. So, judging from that, it looks like he's going to get a pretty large following. Yeah, yeah. Get people who are going to be like on his side and his way of how he views the world. So it's going to be very interesting as to like how how the how the overall film goes about, really, because it's going to be like. It's just going to be, I think, a very unique and, and different DC EV, EV yeah. movie than we've seen. I mean, com it's, 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 it's not tied to anything either. It's, it's going to be completely its own kind of thing. Um, so it hasn't got the weight of this DCEU or DCEU Part 2 or Redo, whatever it is. Um, it hasn't got the weight of that. And it also hasn't got the, um, the expectation either. I think that's what's good about this movie is it doesn't have a lot of expectation there. Um, people are, you know, are interested in it now. But when it was announced, yeah, no one was just like, you know, people were 50-50 on it. But now people have seen the trailer, they're like, all right, this can actually be pretty good. You know, I don't like so to, to speculate. Expectation is, isn't there much. I don't like to speculate, but I did see this one uh, comment from the trailer. Um, and I thought, yeah, that's not a bad shout. You know that part in the trailer where he's, you know, with that 
young boy at the gates and he's forcing mm. the boy to smile. Yeah. A lot of people, I saw this, well, I don't know if a lot of people are, but I saw this one person speculate that that kid could be Bruce Wayne. Oh, which possibly. I think would be a Ooh. really cool nod to, you know, their their rivalry. That's good. That's good. That's good. Because they've all, in a lot of the origin stories, like the 1989 film, they've got uh, a backstory and that between them. Um, this would uh, that would work. That would make sense. Because it wouldn't I be just would well. you know it it wouldn't just be Batman's counterpart you know on the other side of the coin. Like there's a real motive for them disliking each other. That's actually pretty good. It's not mm. a bad show. I mean, again, I'm not. I'm not getting my hopes up too high because you know. No, but it, you know, like but to, it's still fun like to, to speculate too much. But you know, that was just something yeah, spe- I saw. Yeah, spe- you know, spe- that's spe- good Speculation's fine, isn't it? But you know, it's just it's it's uh, how do I put this? But, Separating um, it from when it doesn't happen. It's also kind of, in a way, cinema and also DC. They're taking a, a massive step, and and also it kind of just goes to shows that. In a sense, what this character, what, what this particular character means to everyone. I mean, you can't. I mean, I don't think DC weren't just gonna go say, "Ooh, we're gonna do," um, I don't know, "Ooh, we're gonna do a Killer Croc film." Yay! Like, no, like they did doing the Joker movie. I'm just like, yes, like mm. everyone knows mm. that character. Everyone loves that character, and it's just kind of like it makes, in a sense, it's kind of just kind of interesting just to kind of see you know, kind of told from his eyes and his perspective. Because, yes, we've seen the Joker, like, through cartoons, through lots of movies. Mm. We've just seen this laughing kind of guy. And I guess it kind of would be nice just to kind of see, you know, how did he... How did all, he of it, all of it from his side. All of it from his side. And if you think about it, like, from this particular movie, it's like, it's going to be an actual story but like okay every single film has a story but it ain't gonna be like the typical dc marvel kind of films like there won't be that there could be a little bit of like action like but i don't think there won't be that much like you guys see what i mean by that i do see what you mean yeah yeah Yeah, there'll be a lot more character depth than than anything else it's gonna be more psychological than action yes yes yeah it will have action it will have action maybe at the start the middle and the end but other than that, there won't, and maybe like little bits in between here and there, just to keep the pace of the film flowing. Um, it'll be one of them kind of films. It's not going to be like, let's say, I mean, well, I was going to say Infinity War, but that's that's too much. Uh, let's say I don't know, um, Thor, where there's action at the start, then the middle, then the end. It'll be like it'll be something like that, because it'll be more, as you say, driven towards the psychological um, abilities of the Joker and just how mentally disturbed this guy is and the thing is he may not he may not be threatening um physically when you compare him to someone like batman however this guy a crazy nutcase with a knife in his hand who's walking around smiling would scare me a little bit more just because he's unpredictable you don't know so if i saw that costume and that face paint walking on the side of the road, I go to the other side of the road. I'd be like, "No, I'm not. I'm not cool with this. I'm gone. See ya." I mean, I'm not, he's more iconic than some of the strongest even Marvel characters. I mean, you go up to a girl, just be like, "Oh my god, Joker, yeah!" And you're just like, "Oh, what about Galactus? Like, who's that?" Right. <laughs> 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 oh, what, what about Dumamu? Dumamu, who's that? Like, Joker, yeah. Joker, you're like, yeah. You're like Dumamu. The thing is, yeah, Joker is one Dumamu. of the most compelling. <laughs> most interesting, most mysterious villains, you know. Ever yeah, it's like how we were discussing back in the, so. the, 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 first, um, the first video we did on this channel, um, is, you know, when we were talking about Carnage and how you can't really do a lot around him, you know, we spoke about Joker and how he, um, it's what he represents. It's, it's the Ooh. way, it's what he stands for as a person, you know. He represents the, 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 the fall from grace, the corrupt society, the pain from within and how one can go about releasing them. And obviously he does it with laughing gas and guns, but yeah. Any anime fans out there and Ty, regarding My Hero Academia, 
Doesn't the Joker remind you a little bit in terms of ideologies? I, I'm probably talking stupid here, but doesn't Joker remind you a little bit of Stain? I'm trying to remember who Stain is. Uh, uh, give me the hero minute. killer. Oh, uh, the second season. Uh, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's, it's it's nice. Is it the guy who flicks the tie and goes build this in a cave with a box of scraps over diet? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I, I just no, because really... the thing is, with Stain, like just... Stain's, Stain's ideology was all oh, this hero society is corrupted and everything. Like these heroes pretend to be heroes, but they don't want to be heroes. They just want it for their clout. I think it was something like that. I can't remember. Some, yeah, some. Oh, I think I think you're on the ball or something, you know, in that sense. And yeah, um, you know, like in that sense that how um, maybe you know some he's also maybe a little bit of the punishers kind of thing as well. Like it's just ah, oh, you feel what you're doing is right, mm. but like you know, there are definitely better comparisons you could make. But I just thought of that, like yeah, you, you know, you, you're not wrong. You're not far off there as well. And uh, oh, I just noticed as I'm talking about the Punisher, Jacob's t-shirt in the background. No, like, <laughs> yeah. oh, this one. Well, hey. no, 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 the one in the yeah, because I've got fucking Darth Vader, child killer, <laughs> and I've got Kylo Ren, console smasher. But to that, to that, like, because okay, we know what Sony's doing, like they were Venom, this whole villain verse thing. Uh, mm. D, would DC do that? Would Warner Brothers do that? Like, would there just be Joker? Well, what, would else, they... well, what, what else could I mean? What other super villains would you be interested uh, in seeing? As a I, 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 w- I, I would love Hush. <sighs> Agreed. Agreed. I would love Hush. I, I really would him. love Hush. I, I think there's him. only one person who could play him. Matt Damon. Damon. <laughs> I, thought you were gonna, I thought you were going to say you for a second. I was just like, ha ha, pipe, pipe down, soldier. Mm-hmm. Oh, for God's sake. Here we go with this stereotype. <laughs> oh, what? Oh. I, I shouldn't have put the Punisher shirt there. I shouldn't have put it there because it's throwing it back to the first vi- video now with the Punisher stereotype. Uh, it's okay, oh, buddy. Dear. Dear. But mean, Hush, would, yeah. Hush would be good. I mean, um, maybe Scarecrow as well? Scarecrow would be a very good movie. But I don't know. You need a bit more in that, I think. I think there needs to be a bit more just to spice it up a bit. <laughs> Should Killian Murphy come back as like... <laughs> oh, God. He was very good as uh, Scarecrow. He was I mean, Clayface is a guy. When a Clayface is a guy. When once he true, not not yeah. not necessarily as a solo movie, but I'd like to see him in some way. But you know, back to Joker. Um, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's. Uh, I don't know. It's. I'm not excited. Excited, but I'm not. I'm not hoping it fails either. You know, I'll be. I'll just be happy to see the film. It's like, so. I, I'd watch it, and yeah, it's like, is is it a film I'd rewatch again? Probably well, not, but that would be that would depend on how I how I how I view the film when I watch it. Yeah. So certain films I could rewatch again and again, but I don't know with this one. But still, it'd be nice to see the character done in a different way, told in a different perspective, and obviously some people like it, some people won't. You ain't got to be a dick, and you ain't got to be a pessimist or an optimist. You can just like or dislike it. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's it's, I just it's want nice. To quickly address something. Sorry, Jacob. Go ahead. No, no, no. You can't remember. Go on. Okay. Um, cheers. Um, I just want to quickly address something. Um, to anybody, any viewer watching this, or to you know anybody out there that you know says, "Oh, you know, or nothing will ever match up to you know Heath Ledger's Joker." Oh, yeah. Well, well, my response to that is, yeah, true. But that doesn't mean that they cannot still not be good. No. And Joaquin Phoenix is a very talented actor, like you know you said, Charles, uh, not Charles, sorry, Ty. Um, and uh, yeah, yes, yes, go ahead, go ahead and laugh. My bad. Jacob, um, you, why'd you laugh? I was laughing. Just see the mistake. Um, <laughs> Carol's doing Carol's, um, Carol's doing Carol. Carol's doing Carol. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, Ty. Like you said, Ty. Um, you know, Joaquin Phoenix is a very talented actor. And mm. 
I think he's going to do, regardless of how good the film is, I think he'll do a good job. He, as the Joker, will be absolutely fantastic. I, I truly believe that. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you know, a few things on that. One, it's like, for the people saying that he's no Heath Ledger, one, he doesn't need to be. We've, we've got Heath Ledger for eternity. He doesn't need to be Heath Ledger. I just want to see a version of the Joker that's good, but different. You know, why, why, why want the same thing again? You know, it's, it's very weird. I've always found that strange. Two, as you said, uh, Phoenix is a very good actor, and I'm sure he'll do the role justice. And three, you know, people need to give these things a chance. Damn, it's the year of the Phoenix. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> I suppose one of us was going to say it, weren't we? It took me a while, it took me a while to, to realise Yeah, it, it, it took me a little bit of a while there, but once I looked at Tyrone's little grin there, I had to, uh, I had to get it eventually. Oh, my God. That's so dark. So, but, <laughs> to, to, to sum it all up, um, I'm looking forward to it. Can't wait to see it. Um, the joke is not on us. And, uh, yeah. Let us know down below. What are your thoughts for this film coming? Do you think it's going to be good? How do you think his Joker will match up to the other ones? Or do you even care and just hope you get a good movie? Let us know down below. I have been the architect Jacob. Ty has been Ty. Sayonara. Ninja has been Ninja. Adivadechi. Uh, well, I was going to think of something clever to top it, but I'll just top it with... Stella, uh, Hector, India, Echo, Lima, Delta... Please welcome Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. The Shield. I think, Stuart, I'm going to burn it down. Burn it down. See you later, folks. Thanks so much for watching the video, boys and girls. If you like this video, please be sure to give the video a massive thumbs up. Share it on all your socials and leave a comment down below as this is just the start of the discussion. And make sure you check out our SoundCloud page to have us with you on the go wherever you may be. And don't forget to check us out over at Teespring to supply yourself with the best Geeker merchandise and take your first step into a larger fandom. And I will talk to you soon.